Oh my gosh, this is your girl, Dream the Dream, repping Rep That outside Anya um, for EXO's launch party, but black people time, you know what, the man's not even here yet, but I'm not even bothered. I'm not bothered because I've got the one and only... Malik MD7, hey, 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 hey. If you don't know, like a couple of weeks ago, I was meant to interview um, OG Nikki, and when I was mentioning Brum, you're the only name that people were mentioning. When I was saying who's hot in Brum, people were like, oh, Malik, it's, it's you. So who else is hot in Brum apart from you and OG Nikki? Who's hot in Brum? Trilla is hot in Brum. Lady Leisha's hot in Brum. Um, there's a lot of artists that's hot in Brum right now, but those are the main three. There's like, plus you got like Mix from S Squad, who's just dropped an EP with Wiley K. Coke. USG and everybody on there, XO, Screen G, everybody's on there. So, you know what I mean? Brom's kind of stepping up right now, still second city, isn't it? So, do you find it difficult? Obviously, you're hot, but like coming from Brom, do you think people from London are getting more airplay than you? Well, it's not since Charlie Slough came around, and I've always got played on Westwood, so it ain't been so bad for me because I came out earlier and I've put in the work, so I know all the DJs. DJs don't change. DJs are like 30 odd and up. So DJs don't go nowhere. So the DJ, when I came around, when I first came out like 10 years ago, the same DJs yeah, no. are still there. We are rewind is in order. So you're telling me you've been around for 10 years? I've been around for 10 years. I dropped some street shit tunes like Silent Screams before before street shit was, was done in the UK. That's a fact, you got what I'm saying? All right, so people that don't know about you, give them a history of yourself. Like, what are the, the mixtapes that they should um, be what, the listening to? This is the first album I did was Power and the Glory with Maurice Delta 7. I'm from a group called Maurice Delta 7, came out in 2001. We had two videos that was rotated on MTV Bass, Heavy, Art of Survival and Silent Screams. And they were both street tunes and street shit wasn't really going on in UK hip hop like that at the time. Like recognize people, MTV bass, you know how hard that is to get into? Like recognize, real recognize real, repping like seriously, it's a big deal. Sorry, I had to interrupt there. So yeah, but big up all the supporters all over the country, you know what I'm saying? London's been holding me down, you know what I'm saying? I've always had a good following in South, North, West and East, especially. So, you got what I'm saying? Big up all the supporters. I came back to the game like 2010. You know what I'm saying? Like mid 2010. And since then, it's been on. You got what I'm saying? I'm all over the, the internet and whatnot. So, it's all good. Okay. So, who do you think is hot in the UK right now? Other than your Brummy lot? Um, right now, I listen to um, Coke, DVS. I listen to Professor Green, Tiny Temper. I listen to like, you know what I mean, array of array of artists that are doing shit. I like active artists who are putting in the work. Big up Chipmunk because he's doing a lot for the UK right now. Like, going back to that, you've been in the game for a long time. And now from my point of view, every man thinks he's a rapper. What do you like what do you think of the UK industry in general? It's building up from when I first started, you know what I'm saying? Like, even in 08, I had like a big uh, I had a big remix with Amy Winehouse, with Baby J, and that done a lot for us. You keep saying things like it's nothing. It's, uh, no, but it's, it's, not, it's I can't nothing. get gas though. I leave it for the youth to get okay. gas, you know what I'm saying, when exactly. they listen back. Oh my gosh. And they feel, they, I don't so know. So all you, you out there, that done, you've done your little collabos with your, your man them and your friends them. This man's worked with Amy Winehouse and big people, yeah. do you understand? So Tour recognize with Mark Ransom. Brum. Toured with Mike, Mark Ranson a couple of times on the Jay Z tour and on his tours oh when we done the Mark, when we done the Amy Winehouse track. So it's like at that time, the industry wasn't the way it was now. You know what I'm saying? So it was on big stages, but now you've got the Professor Greens, you got the Tiny Tempers, the Devlins, the Gigs, the Rich Thirty Twos. That's kind of helped open up the doors for me back again as a you know what I'm saying an older artist to them. So. I give them respect because, you know what I'm saying, they kind of help. I paved the way for other artists and they helped pave the way for me to bring it, the industry to a bigger place. Now, I know I'm going to be a bit cheeky, but could you spit a few bars for us? Um, 
Okay, okay, okay. Listen. On the road between tour dates, living life bending rules to the law breaks. Where you find me a street so grimy, street sweepers keep written tidy. I don't trust much where I'm from. Gotta keep an eye out for them sly ones. Man, I'll try and murk you when the time comes. Hug your mother at the wake, drink a little white rum. I heard the fans miss me, so I had to come back to make history. That's no mystery. Don't diss me, tech man, for chips catch a steak in your kidneys. Or get battered if you step cross. That thin line, don't take fast. Car, this weapon is for safety. And any pussy who trespasses against me. Yeah. Now before you go, can you just like say like a little shout out to Rep That? Yo, this is Millie Kennedy Seven, and you're watching Rep That TV. Peace.